A bit of bad news, fellas. It's gonna be sort of an old school video today. I broke my fucking webcam. Now, before you start running outside my house with pitchforks and paintball guns, let me explain myself. I was perusing a hot tub stream as usual when Tetra barked, and I frantically stood up, allowing all six and a half inches of my blood filled pee and cum releaser to obliterate my camera into 10,000 equal sized pieces. In all seriousness, there was some silly driver issue, so you'll have to bear with this style of video for maybe one more week until the new webcam arrives. The real topic of this video actually lies with a lot of you, at least those of you that comment. Over the past couple of years, I've noticed an alarming amount of commenters developing a parasocial relationship towards me. Just by going to the comment section of any one of my videos, you will see thousands of people calling me by name. Like they think they know me. At first, when they started to do this, I was fine with it, even a tad flattered. But as more and more people joined in, I began to find it deeply pathetic. Of course, I don't talk about this a lot. I don't even know if I've even mentioned it in a stream. That's simply because I want to keep up appearances. I fucking hate a lot of you. So, the resentment has been growing for years, but you dick writers have been putting prime grade tomahawk steaks on the table three days a week, and daddy's gotta eat. Now that that's off my chest, let's take a look at some of the finest sycophants my comment section has to offer. First up, ginormous loser. I mean, take a look at this fucking guy. He writes, Thank you for always being there when I am taking a big dump. Toilet breaks are never boring with Charlie speaking to you. Now let's do an exercise. Just imagine what this person might be like, how meaningless his life is. How miserable waking up must be for him to think I am his friend when excrement is coming out his chocolate starfish. First, I feel disgust who wants someone to feel joy when thinking about you as they're taking a shit. Second, I feel immense pity. I will not reveal the name of this channel. Even though he has 100,000 plus subscribers, he rakes in a mere couple thousand views max on any video. His dying channel is probably the only thing in his life that matters. In one of my videos, entitled Netflix Just Got Much Worse, I decided to wear a black shirt as opposed to the white shirts that I typically wear in my videos. Let's take five completely random comments from this video. As you can see, every single one of these commenters hasn't diverged from their dialogue tree. I don't blame them, as NPCs can't. My viewers are literal NPCs. They are only capable of the most basic thoughts. Their textureless, smooth, billiard ball brains are unable to deviate from every other program sheep and what unfunny repetitive garbage they are regurgitating. Think of it like your pet cat. When you shine a laser at the wall, it can only revert to its most primordial state and follow it. Similar to the commenter, the cat cannot process that the laser is simply a trivial thing that has no real effect on its life. To put it briefly, I distract you, you give me money. When you follow the herd, I follow the commas in my bank account statements. To prove this wasn't a fluke, here's a recent video where I wore a black shirt again. In terms of originality, the comments are almost one-to-one. -one. Feel free to pause to fully admire this spectacle. I am often in disbelief at the sheer volume of hero worship I receive. Remember I'm a 5 foot 6 tall man who lives in Florida who has no job outside of my online presence. I just make videos about viral internet sensations and I make more money than most of your parents. I'm not your god, your father, or your boss. Let's relate this to one of my favorite shows, The Boys. Even though most of you completely missed the premise of the show, not to worship your heroes. You all continue to do it with me. You treat me like Jesus. 
Speaking of which, whenever you compare me to him, a little part of me dies inside. First of all, I'm an avowed atheist. Secondly, I know I look like him a little bit because we both have the long hair and a beard, but so do countless other white guys. Saying it for the 15 millionth time doesn't make it any funnier. Also, most of you are still learning fractions and finding out what stuff comes out when you rub your penis. I'm going to explain an important economic concept to you, diminishing marginal utility. This refers to the phenomenon that each additional unit of gain leads to an ever smaller increase and subjective worth. For example, three fries dipped in pink sauce are better than two, but the 20th fry does not add much to the experience beyond the 19th and could even make it worse. In this case, it makes it a lot worse. It's so fucking repulsively unfunny. By the way, you're welcome for using the newest funny meme, pink sauce, so your minuscule brains can process this analogy more easily. Here are a few more comments you witty virgins came up with. Well, this guy can count a round of applause, please, for his formidable intellect. <laughs> Remember earlier, when I made the comparison of commenters to NPCs? I wasn't kidding. A lot of my commenters are actual bots. See this screenshot? Three scam bots in a row, then another, a few comments after saying the same exact thing verbatim. I've spoken about this subject in one of my videos some months ago, yet YouTube refuses to do anything about it. They would rather make 30 unskippable LGBT ads on all my videos than fix their own platform. I hate you. Also, back to the screenshot, you can spot one of the losers in the wild fawning over my existence. I mean, how pathetic. This guy is an absolute friendless freak who thinks I'm his buddy cringe. If he killed himself right now, no one would care. Not one. Out of nearly 8 billion people, no one would bat an eye. No one would probably even know. Please don't send any hate towards this guy though. It really sucks when you guys send hate to people I make videos on, so please pinky promise you won't. Now I'd like to take a moment to talk about a video game I've really gotten into recently. It's called Clans of Demons vs Legend Slayers and you can get it for free on the App Store and Google Play Store. And it's the sponsor of today's video. If you use code Charlie when making an in-app purchase, you get four free heroes. And I'm in the game, so you might even be able to eradicate an entire race of demons with my likeness. Again, that's code Charlie. I also have another code, Moist. Use this code to unlock 30 crate keys. Each crate has a chance of dropping a legendary Ultra Demon Blade, the rarest item in the game. I myself have the level 20 Fire Dagger and the level 100 Blizzard Attacking Force Sword. Anyway, I just wanted to address this today because I felt like it. That's about it, guys. See ya.